Hi, I'm John Stapleton with Code VA, and this is a quick tutorial on linking passages with Twine using the chapbook format. Uh, let's get into it. Uh, if you want to check out some previous tutorials, uh, then check out the description. It kind of shows you where where the the stuff that comes before this video is. Uh, so let's start. Got my Twine editor. I've got a story. It's started. We're we're ready to go. Uh, let's make it happen. So um, I'm gonna actually change this up a little bit. Um, I've got a passage. I've created it. Uh, just as a reminder to edit your passages, you can double click into it. And uh, I've named my passage start, but I'm not, this is an actual story, right? Like this is, <laughs> uh, this is, this is nothing. This is, this is just a placeholder. So uh, I've got some, some story here to start with. So my story will begin. Once upon a time, a spider was looking for a place to spin their web. They walked into a forest alone, looking for a good spot to make their home. Over the hill, they spotted a peaceful clearing. Now, the next thing that should happen in the story is uh, the spider should go to the clearing, right? Like, that's what I'm setting up here. Uh, and in Twine, what you want to do is create a second passage that will show that next part of the story. Uh, right now, all my story says is this. Um, and what I'm going to do is create a link that will take the reader from this part of the story to the part about the clearing. So, to make a new passage, I'll click New. Double click. And I'm going to call this one uh, The Clearing. Great. Um, and then I'll find uh, my text. I've got this pre-written out, so you don't have to watch me type and try to decide what <laughs> what um, what I'll write about. Uh, the spider explored the beautiful clearing, but all the trees were too far apart to support their web. They decided to keep exploring to see if they could find another place for their home. Wonderful. We have... Two passages alike in dignity, but sadly, there's no way for the reader to get from this first passage to the next part of the story. So uh, what I need to do is add a link. And a link is just like a little button that the reader can click. I'll show you what I mean. To create a link, you're gonna use two square brackets and then the name of the passage you want to link to. In this case, the clearing. That's what my name, my passage is named. And here we go. You can see that my editor shows this arrow now, um, showing that these two passages are linked. If I test my story, you can see we have this wonderful little link here. And if I click it, ah, now we can read both parts of the story. This is what Twine stories are like. They they start with a passage and the, and the reader kind of goes through the story by clicking links. And uh, some passages will have multiple links and the reader can make choices to go from one link, uh, from one passage to another, uh, like in a branching narrative. That's what the next tutorial is about. Um, but there's a couple other things to go through before we get there. Are there some formatting things that are kind of nice? If you add a little like, you know, pointy symbol before your link, you'll get a nice little centered button. I like the look of that. I think that's nice. Uh, and then there's another thing uh, you probably don't want to uh, use this word for your link because that doesn't look nice. <laughs> you know, it doesn't really make sense in the story. So what you can do is create what's called an alias, uh, a, a, like a, a named link. So after my link name, I'm going to use, i make a little arrow by pressing dash and then greater than. So you see, see this little arrow symbol I've created. And then after that, oh, sorry, I've got, I'm getting this mixed up. Before <laughs> the, uh, the link name, I'll make my little arrow. And then before the arrow, I'll create the words that I want the reader to see when they see the link on the page. So I'll say, explore the clearing. Uh, that's what I want the reader to see when they get to this passage and they, they look at this part of the story. Test from here. Okay, it's a little bit different. We have the beginning of our story and then we have explore the clearing. Uh, if I click explore the clearing, it takes me to the passage named the clearing. Here's what the reader will see and here's what the twine engine needs you to write in order to get this visual connection between this passage 
and this passage. Now you can add as many passages as you like. Uh, your Twine story should be made up of lots of passages. Um, and in future tutorials uh, in this series, in this set of resources, uh, you'll see lots of different ways of connecting passages together to create interesting little uh, interactive stories. So uh, that is it. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Uh, check out this website below, uh, codeva-curriculum.github.io slash twine trail guide. Uh, is dozens of resources about different things to do with twine, different project ideas. Uh, please uh, d definitely recommend checking it out. You can check the description of this video for a text version of this tutorial if you want to read what I just said and see some examples. Uh, and with that, I think we're done here. Uh, good luck and happy coding.